what brings you to the RTC event? Well, I was very lucky and I was uh, lucky to be invited to come and to offer a keynote and to teach a workshop. So I was fascinated to come and I'm glad that I did. How did you perceive the audience during your presentation today? Were they interactive? Were they asking questions? Were they curious about knowing things, sharing things with you as well during the event? Yeah, it's a little hard to gauge. So at a keynote, you know, people don't really so much ask questions. So you, what I'm really looking for is how people are reacting through their eyes and whether they're laughing, um, things that sort of go above language. And I think, I think the audience is pretty involved, you know, like very engaged um, and laughing at certain things. And I think probably surprised to find out that worldwide we may have come in issues and challenges at work. So it was a good audience. Mm -hmm. What do you think should be the outcome of such an event for the, the participants and for, for the companies as well? What do they have to bring out of the event? I think the most important thing you can do at any testing conference is to meet other people. And you have no idea who you're going to meet. You might meet a speaker, you might meet somebody who's never spoken, you might meet a company. You know, I would, I'm sure the companies would love to meet lots of people because in our field work changes all the time. So you think you're employed somewhere today, but maybe tomorrow you're looking for something else. So, Or other opportunities or tricks to overcome some challenges. You never know. So the person who invited me here, I met at another conference previously. So one thing sometimes leads to another in a way you cannot predict. Um, what do you think makes a professional tester? The eternal question. Oh, there's a lot of things I think that make a tester, but I think you have to have sort of a certain attitude, and it's probably an attitude of curiosity and really wanting to learn. You know, software is constantly changing, the things you need to learn are constantly changing, and if you're really curious. So if you're somebody who loves to know how things work, you, you want to take things apart, you want to understand how they work, how they break, what could make them break. That kind of attitude is so much more important even than academic background. That's true. Can you name one technical skill every tester should have? Oh dear. Oh, can I give the consultant's answer? It depends. Yeah. So, so I remember once somebody said to me, you can say it depends if you tell me what it depends on. So I'll give an example. I think if you're going to test in mobile, I think you should know mobile really well. You should be fluent with devices, comfortable with settings, inherently understand mobile, how people are using things. But what if you're sitting working on a desktop application and you really need to know SQL? So I think it really just depends. It's hard to latch one, one skill per se. What would you advise testers to, to research or to read or to, to do for themselves rather than just doing their daily job properly? I'd like to see testers on the whole read a lot more and read all sorts of things. I'd like to know that they're reading Twitter, that they're following blogs, that they're reading testing articles, that they pop over to YouTube and they're checking out videos that are out there however they want to consume information that they're listening to other people in the testing communities. Comparing to other conferences you have attended, where would you position this one? So it's kind of a hard one to answer, I suppose. Um, I think sessions here have been really well attended and I give credit to the organizers because some conferences want to have so much a very full schedule session after session and people stop going, they step out because they need to check their work email, they need a break. This has been a really nice balance where we have a session then we have a little bit of a coffee break so people can meet each other, do what they need to do and then another session again. If you look, the hallways are very empty during the sessions which means people are going to the sessions. They both like the program and it means they've been given enough break times which is really nice. To pay attention. Okay, thank you very much. Has been very helpful. Thank you. Thanks for having me.